What's up guys? It's Paris. So kind of a funny story. The other day I had an allergic reaction of some sort. I don't really know. This is so random, but basically my eye is currently really swollen and jacked up. So I did not really want to show my face on camera, but luckily for this video, I don't really need to show my face. I'm just doing a voiceover, just doing some demonstrations. I haven't done a voiceover in like years. This is so OG YouTube. But anyway, today's video is going to be how to do the Visco Pinterest picture edits. I'm going to show you guys how to do the dripping bikini, the glitter bikini, the glitch effect, how to add like stars and butterflies and other objects to your pictures. And I'm going to show you guys how to add in backgrounds like in the car or sunglasses just all kinds of those stuff that I'm sure you guys see the really basic visco edits um, I get so many questions and DMS every time I edit a picture like this asking me how I do it So I'm finally going to show you guys I will have a video coming pretty soon how I edit my pictures personally like which filters and presets I use but this is just going to be how I alter the pictures I guess also I just want to say that most of the pictures that I'm using in this video are not mine They were all found on Pinterest or visco, but some of them are mine and I'll tell you they are so yeah um not claiming any rights to the pictures they're not mine they're just popular internet pictures the first thing that i'm going to show you guys is how to do this dripping melting bikini effect this one does take the most time i guess out of all of this so i thought i would show it first the app is called pix art that i use to make this and i would definitely recommend using a stylus mine's nothing fancy it's literally like on the end of a pen but it makes it so much easier so when you have chosen the picture this is a picture of me on spring break um, you're going to go to the draw tool and then select whichever color that you would like to make the bikini dripping effect. I'm doing pink because I love pink. And then you're just going to color it in. Basically, just fill the entire swimsuit in the solid color that you would like it to be. Using the color once you filled it in, you can also then add some of the drip parts. I just make these colored, I don't know, this is like so hard to explain, but you guys can see what I'm doing. I just make some drippy blob shape looking things hanging off the swimsuit in the color that I made it. So now that the bikini is colored in and has the colored drips hanging off of it, you're going to change the brush color to black and then size it down just a little bit and then you're going to outline everything that you just colored in the black. So outline the swimsuit and then outline the colored drips that you drew off of the swimsuit. So then at this point I size the brush down even smaller still in black and then I draw some drips inside of the swimsuit just using some black lines. This definitely doesn't look perfect this is just kind of for demonstrative purposes but you guys can just look up pictures on Pinterest or whatever to kind of model after what you're going to color in but that is basically what you do and now you have your final dripping melting swimsuit effect. Again not perfect but you guys get the idea. The next edit that I'm going to show you guys is the glitter bikini effect. I'm going to be using this just on the same picture and the app that I like to use for this is Snapseed. I really love this app. It is free. Um, so when you load your picture into Snapseed, you're going to go to tools and then you're going to go to double exposure and then just add in the glitter color texture that you would like to use. I'm using the silver one and then size it over the swimsuit and then bring up the opacity so it is nice and clear and see-through. Then you're going to click on those little squares in the corner, go to view edits, double exposure, and then the middle brush button. I know it's kind of a lot to follow, but you guys can see what I'm doing. And now what's awesome is when you draw on the picture and brush over it is going to reveal the image that you selected for double exposure. So you're just going to sort of paint on over your swimsuit and the glitter pattern will appear. Um, a stylus is also nice for this one, but it's not as necessary. This one I kind of use my finger and it works fine because you're not really doing any details or whatever. But yeah, it's pretty simple and straightforward. You just color in your glitter texture on your swimsuit. <laughs> The next edit I'm going to show you guys is this car background edit type of thing where people put pictures in the car, basically. I don't know. Um, this is actually the exact same technique that I used for the glitter bikini. It's the same double exposure feature on Snapseed. I'm bringing in this fun picture. This is not a picture of me, by the way. I don't own a Jeep. I'm a disgrace to the visco world. Um, but you're just going to do the exact same thing. Find a picture 
and then shape it over the area you want it and then just do the brush double exposure and color it in so you're just going to color it in like the window parts of the car and everything this makes no sense but you guys see what i'm doing like i said it is the exact same technique as the glitter bikini <music> So to make the edit of where people put pictures inside of their sunglasses, it is again the exact same app and technique and everything as the glitter bikini and as the car background. It is Snapseed double exposure. So I'm taking this picture. This is also not a picture of me. I found it on Pinterest, um, but you're just going to do the exact same thing as I've shown you two times before. This picture, I'm doing two separate double exposure layers because I want to have the same picture on both sunglasses but it's this cute little sun image also found on pinterest that's where like everything is from but yeah pretty self-explanatory same technique as the glitter bikini and the car background and now you can color in different pictures on your sunglasses <music> Next up, I'm going to show you guys how to add objects to your pictures, like stars and butterflies are super popular things that people put on their pictures nowadays. We're going to go back to PixArt and use that app again. So once you've opened your image, you're going to go to stickers, and then this is a pretty like simple thing to do. You just kind of type in whatever you're looking for. I search star pattern because that's like a really popular edit to make on your pictures. So you just select whichever one you want to use that looks good to you, and then you kind of just size it on your picture and erase it as needed if there's stars that are covering your body or whatever this is like a random picture of me that i chose because it has like a lot of open background space but yeah it's a pretty simple technique to do there's so many different stickers you can use I did the same thing again and just search butterflies this time. Like I said, that's another really popular thing that people are doing to their pictures and this is a way to do it. I do this on computer programs sometimes, but this is the simplest way that I've found that you can just use on your phone. I also put like a little lightning even though it doesn't match the picture at all, but that's another popular little edit to add to your pictures is lightning. Finally, I'm going to show you guys how to do this glitching effect. These are all my personal pictures and every time I post a picture like this, I get so many questions how I do it. The app is called Glitche, I guess. I don't know. Probably wrong. Um, but there are three types of things on the app I like to do. The first thing is screen. Screen basically edits and glitches out the entire picture as you can see. Um, there's four different modes on this glitch app that make different color combinations. This goes for all the like different kinds of effects you can do um, if that makes any sense because I'm going to show you guys two of the things you can do. The next thing you can do is channels. Um, so you swipe your finger side to side um, or up and down and that just edits like a section of the picture as you guys can see here. Same thing, there's four color modes that you guys can do to edit it. I just did red and blue on a 4th of July picture, if you guys saw that. And then the third mode that I use is liquify. This one, you use your finger or a stylus or whatever, and you just kind of wipe around and swipe on the background, and it just kind of like swirls it around and distorts it. I chose this picture myself to demonstrate on because the background is really colorful, and I think with this glitch effect, you want to make a really colorful background because it just obviously like has more color to draw from, if that makes any sense, and like edit it. So definitely use a colorful picture because it will have the best glitch results. 